Andy, how can I help you? Uh, hey, Andy, brother. I was on my cell phone from 206, and I got disconnected real quick. Um, I'm sorry about this. Could you please reconnect me? Thank you. Room 206? I'm sorry, you want room 206? Yep. Um, I'm not showing a guest in room 206. Oh, oh, 208. Sorry, 208. 208. What's the last name? Excuse oh, no, this is Domino's Pizza Calling to confirm the order. Oh, okay. Yep, thanks. There's 208. Yep. Okay. What? Hello? Hello, sir? Yes. Sir, this sir, this is Jeff Anderson. I'm calling down from the front desk. We have an emergency situation going on right now at the hotel. I'm going to need you to follow some safety procedures that we have outlined for our guests here. Uh, our staff is right now uh, going to every room and calling as many rooms as we can. I'm going to need for you to put the put the phone down, go grab a towel, wet it under the sink, and then put it under the crack of the door, and then come back to the phone. We have a ghost leak in the building. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll do that. All I'll right. Actually, are you going to stay on the phone? Yes. Okay. Come on. Go sleep. You probably won't do it. Once I start talking more about shit. You're going to realize now the Ghostbusters are on the way. <laughs> I don't want to say gas, so I've been saying gas all night. I'm going to try to slip it in there. If it don't work, who cares? Okay. Okay, sir. Now, just remain calm. Officials are on their way, and the Ghostbusters are going to be on the way as well. Now, we are going to fully compensate you for your stay here at the hotel, and we are going to move you to another room. Now, what... Uh, what they're advising us right now is um, they're, they're trying to work on containing the situation with the leak. And what they're advising us is that we need to unplug the electrical appliances in your room, such as okay. the uh, TV, if you have a microwave, etc. And then uh, you can leave like one light on and then come back to the phone, okay? Okay. Quickly. And do, do that now? Yes, now. All right. This is a recording from 1982. Prove it's live. Prove it's live. Fucking bitches. No, we're just waiting. Can I get a one? My microwave's unplugged. The TVs are... I can't reach the cords. Okay, okay, great. <clears throat> okay, that's fine, sir. We're going to be moving you pretty soon anyway. Now, what they're advising us right now is that we need to get full oxygen clearance into your room so you can breathe better. That's why we have the towel placed underneath the door crack. Now, in your bathroom, there's going to be a toilet tank lid. Do you know what I'm referring to? Yes. 
okay, the toilet tank lid. You're going to put the phone down, you're going to grab that lid, lift it up, and you're going to use that lid to create a full opening into the window. You're going to go ahead and break the window. Don't even worry about the window. We've already had to do this for three other rooms so far. Uh, we need to get full oxygen clearance into that room, and we will be relocating you and fully compensating you for your stay here tonight. Now, put the phone down and go grab that lid. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have wood. Okay, all right, now go ahead and use that lid to break the window and get an opening full oxygen clearance into that room, sir. Stay on the phone, just put the phone down. Okay. 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 okay, sir. Okay, great. Okay, now is the window fully cleared out? Is it a double pane? Is there another one you need to? Uh, there's just there's yeah, well there's double pane and I only have one hole. Okay, okay. Is there another one you can clear out? Because we need to get full oxygen clearance. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. One. Ghost leak for the second time. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, sir. Have you cleared out the window entirely? Not entirely. Okay, good. Okay, but it's pretty much though. You can feel the air coming in? Yeah. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, sir. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and transfer you over to my supervisor who's going to give you the room number that you're going to move to and the steps for, uh, it's going to probably be in the next 20 minutes or so, so just sit tight. Now, uh, just for quality control purposes, just explain the steps that we took together because I'm just a front desk clerk. I have another room to get to, so I'm going to go ahead and connect you right now. Stand by. Okay, thank you. on, sir. Yes. Yes, great morning at the Hilton Garden in Macon. This is Beatrice. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Hello? Uh, yeah. my, hello? Yes. Uh, my name is Mark Bender. I'm in room 208. Sure. Um, they're telling me I need to clear out of my room. There's some kind of a leak. Huh? Good evening. Thank you for calling the Effingham Hilton Garden. And this is Andy. Uh, yes, my name is Mark Bender. I'm in, s in room 208. Uh-huh. And uh, they're telling me that I need to get another room. There's some kind of a leak. And uh, uh, they need to transfer me to another room. Um, no, I, I, that, you must have got a prank call. I've, I've, there's been uh, some of that um, I've heard going on today. I sent a I sent somebody up uh, earlier. They told me that they were from Domino's. Um, and they got disconnected from you. Was that or did you order from Domino's? No, I didn't order from Domino's. Okay. I was sleeping. Okay. And somebody by the name of Andy from the front desk was calling people. 
I'm sorry? And somebody by the name of Andy was calling? Somebody by the name of Andy was calling? I thought they said the name was Andy from the front desk, yes. Well, um, I'm, they must have done that because it came through me, but uh, um, I did not call. Okay. Well, <laughs> I have a major situation. Somebody called me, and they pretty much put this fear of God in me, saying that there was some kind of a leak in my room, and I needed to get oxygen into the room. And I went through these steps over the phone, put wet towels underneath the front door, and literally broke the windows in the room to get air into the room, based on their instructions. Mm -hmm. um, I apologize. Um, this, we actually got warned about this happening, um, but um, I made a mistake of sending him up because he told me he was from Domino's. Um, I should have checked. Well, the they didn't actually do this. Over, they didn't actually do this in person. They did this over the phone. Right. I understand. They called. They called. Yeah. Uh, from the phone, and it's it's a prank call. They, what they're doing is trying to to get you to do something that would cause damage to the room. Um, I apologize um, that that I let them through, but there's there's nothing wrong with the room um, as far as that goes. I can train, I can move you if you would like, but I, it, I, I yeah it, the windows are broken now, so uh, I, I yeah I, I definitely okay. need another room. Okay. Um, then I will uh, bring up uh, a new set of keys for you. You need it, what? I'm huh? sorry. I'll bring up a set of keys for a new room for you. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so. Um don't let it end. Well, it's gonna end sometime. What the fuck, man? What do you think this is? Do this is just gonna we're gonna go on forever? I mean, you know, people gotta go to sleep too at some point. So, but anyway, um, <clears throat> all right. So we'll do one more or something, and then we'll move on to I'll. I'll host some other people, or if other people want to do some calls, you know, we can do that or whatever. So, all right, let's let's go into another number.